Saturday morning, day off. How are you spending it? Are you uh, thinking you deserve to relax, make a pot of coffee, read the paper, have a nice breakfast? Well, guess what? Here's our relaxation. We're out for a walk, connecting with nature, connecting with the earth. We're blessed to live by the ocean. But no matter where you're at, you can make this happen. This is what gives you more energy, being out exercising, vibrating with life, with nature, and then afterwards having a delicious breakfast. What a view. What do you think? It's a great morning. Feeling great. Out in the sunshine. Interval training, running, walking, running, walking. Relaxation. Done working out. So we spent an hour, hour and a half. We did interval training. So we basically walked, ran, walked, ran, walked, ran along the beach. And then we did a little walk afterwards. And we brought food with us. I think preparation is probably the biggest key to me being able to stay lean. Um, you know, I used to weigh 280 pounds at one time. I'm down to like about 210 right now. I'm six foot four, so I'm tall. But I think about like what I eat and why it's helping me. And I think about the macronutrients that I get. Macronutrients mean that I try to make sure that all my meals have a little bit of protein, a little bit of fat, and a little bit of carbohydrates. So um, what I brought, for after my workout. I have some Greek yogurt with a little bit of cacao nibs and a little bit of raw pumpkin seeds. Greek yogurt, why I like it better than regular yogurt. Greek yogurt has been a little bit more purified of some of the carbohydrates and some of the waters. So what you're left with is a little thicker, creamier yogurt. One serving has roughly 22 grams of protein, I think only about 11 carbs. This is a fat-free Greek yogurt, so there's no fat in it. Um, I'm adding pumpkin seeds, raw pumpkin seeds to it because polyunsaturated fats in there, a lot of antioxidants in the actual um, pumpkin seeds themselves, and cacao nibs. Gives it a nice little flavor as well as also the cacao nibs have a lot of antioxidants in them, so I'm sticking with cacao nibs. I did put a little bit of stevia in there, the KAL stevia that we like to use, just to give it a little bit of sweetener. And then afterwards, I'm going with the ripest seasoned fruit I could find. This is cantaloupe, so I'm going with a couple cups of cantaloupe, loaded with vitamin A, beta carotene, which actually converts to vitamin A, which is awesome for skin regeneration, loaded with vitamin C to give you all of nature's goodness after you're done working out. So that's what I'm eating. Um, Sarah brought something a little different. So Sarah, why don't, you, uh, why don't you show what you're eating for breakfast? Okay, so here I have just a big bowl of fruit. It's in season fruit. I have peaches with cinnamon on them, and I also have a bunch of green, I'm sorry, purple grapes. And the purple grapes have the resveratrol in it, so it helps you rehydrate. It gives you that good skin tone. It gives you the um, the extra antioxidant boost that a lot of fruits don't give you. And grape, uh, purple grapes in particular are even better for you than green grapes because they have that real dark color in them, and it's, uh, it's good for cleaning out your blood and getting in your system. And the peaches, of course, are just one of my favorite summertime fruits. I think everybody likes peaches in the summer. And alongside of this, I'm gonna have some almonds. I've elected to not have protein this meal, um, just because we did a really heavy beach run and I want, the, I want the sugars to get back into my system so I can get my body restored for our afternoon, so. So that's it. How are you spending your Saturday? Are you on the couch? Are you relaxing? Or are you relaxing by moving your body and eat energizing foods? thought for you for the day. Hope everyone has a great day.